Okay, guys, something really weird happened. Every time someone has asked me, what do you think about the newest updates for Animal Crossing? I'm silent, you know, in the Discord chat that I have. I have a Discord, we are really active on there. And sometimes we go on voice chat and this topic has come up <laughs> several times and I just keep quiet, trying not to say anything. Because no, I haven't played any of the newest updates of Animal Crossing. And also, people have asked me, what do you think about the new DLCs for Pokemon Sword and Shield? And try not to respond to that. Because it is just, um, I don't know, sort of like embarrassing and annoying and frustrating. Sort of the worst thing that a gamer can experience. You know, as neighbor Stefan put it, losing save files in games that you care about is even worse than paying full price for a game that turns out to be not good. I mean, it's really high up there with annoying things that can happen to a gamer. So, yes, officially, I lost my 120 hours save file in Animal Crossing. And this happened on my birthday. I got a new Switch. I did what was logical. I went into my old switch and I hit transfer user. I'm sure anyone would do this if they got a new switch, transfer your user. And so I did transfer user from this switch to this switch. And you know, there was no warning on the screen about certain games or something cannot be transferred. There was no warning on the screen. It should have been like a warning. You cannot transfer Pokemon Sword and Shield data or Animal Crossing data from a Switch to another using this method. I didn't know about this and a lot of people probably don't know about this. If you're ever going to get a new Switch, watch out for exactly this. So then the screen on the old switch is asking me, are you gonna use this old switch? Keep on using the old one. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna use my old switch. I'm gonna use my new one from now on. So I hit no. And what I didn't know is that, but I should have known, I guess, is that when you hit no on that, that was the biggest mistake of the transfer. Because that means everything is wiped from the old switch and transferred over to the new one, as I thought it was going to do. But it turns out, I don't know what it did transfer, because all the games are clouded, and all save files are clouded in the cloud. So I don't, I don't even understand the feature of transferring a user, if it doesn't really transfer everything, if you know what I mean. So I'm back to, it is not a good idea to have several switches. It's not a good idea to break your current switch before they even launch the cloud save feature for Animal Crossing. Which is a game that is made to be played for hundreds of hours. People are even up to thousands of hours in this game. I just don't understand. What is it with me and losing things? Losing my Animal Crossing Switch save. Losing my Pokemon Switch save. At one point, <laughs> losing my entire channel <laughs> to hackers. I got it back though. So I have started all over again in Animal Crossing and that is so annoying. I'm doing all the tutorial stuff again and talking to Tom Nook and all of the things that he wanted you to do in the beginning of the game. A lot of it I had just forgotten about and you know building up the museum again. The museum again. Catching all the bugs again, the fish again. Not even to mention paying off my debts again. You know, the mortgage. I'm living in a tent, so I'm back to square one in Animal Crossing. I never thought that would happen. I mean, considering how far I got into my first save file. I mean, I'm so happy that I did a 100 hours tour, town tour of my town. I'm so happy that I did that so that I have something to look back on and use footage from and also my Animal Crossing review video. But I miss my neighbors. I don't have any of my old neighbors, any of the old things in my museum. I mean, my kitchen is gone. I also had so many people that wrote to me on the notice board in town. You know, memories from when me and my friend Raimon were playing. Those are never gonna come back. So, okay, what did I do when I noticed 
I emailed Nintendo and I basically got a, you know, an auto response and uh, some weeks later I got a, no, there's no way to restore your old island. We are planning on getting this feature later this year, it says. Now, restoring an old island is something that is possible now from what I read. I think, but I'm not sure where they put the restore point in time. Do they have my island at the 5th of June, the day before I lost my island? Who knows? As it looks right now, I have to start all over again. And it is kind of fun and also very annoying when I just remember things that I had in the original save file and I know that it is lost forever. Equally as annoying is it to start Pokemon Sword and Shield again. I think I had 50 hours in that game and I had such a nice end game party Pokemon setup. I miss my Pokemon. I was going to use them in the DLCs, you know, the Isle of Armor and the other one. Don't remember what it was called. So I'm starting also all over again in Pokemon Shield. Now Nintendo confirmed to me in the email that Pokemon Shield, that is lost forever. You can definitely never get that again. So I guess with this video I'm going to warn you about the games that you should watch out for that are not transferable when you're getting a new Switch. They are Animal Crossing New Horizons, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and some other games that I don't know, I didn't care about. And Demon X Machina is also like that. The thing is just that my Switch didn't give me a notice or a warning that some games are not transferable. I don't remember seeing that, otherwise I wouldn't transfer. So I have 120 hours of Animal Crossing gone forever. Maybe it is restorable, we will see. About 50 hours from Pokemon Sword and Shield is gone. I mean, this could be really devastating for kids. I mean, I can handle it. I can sort of handle it, it's just annoying. But for kids, this could make them cry, you know. I I'm crying a little bit on the inside. But this could be so devastating for a kid, and I would be such a frustrated parent if I had a kid that experienced this. Oh, oh. one of the most annoying things is that I, I just customized my island so perfect, with even like a shopping district and a barbecue station and all of these memories of playing online with a bunch of people. And all the money grinding, oh my god, all the evenings, I mean, can you imagine? All the evenings grinding for fish and insects and, you know, fossils to get rich in the game. Now I'm, I'm poor. But this video is a warning that you can lose your save file. Don't you think that it is safe until it is in a cloud? I mean, if you lose your Switch today, you're gonna experience this. If you transfer your Switch from one to another, you can experience this today. Now I have started over, or maybe I'm just not gonna bother. I don't know. Now, leave a comment down below of what you think about this. I mean... I understand Nintendo, they didn't want Animal Crossing to support cloud saves right away because they didn't want people to cheat in the game, but what happened exactly? The first days of the game being released, people found a glitch, a money glitch, to exploit the game. So, you know, that ship is sailed. They may as well just bring us a full-on cloud save with a restore point that you can take back at any time. Same goes for Pokemon. Why not? Not everyone is out there to exploit a game. There are people like me that are simply just, you know, unlucky. Let's do another outro this time. Who am I now? Thanks everyone for watching and you stay smashing! <laughs>